2023 marks the 50th anniversary of mass incarceration in this country. And what that means is that we've had five decades of systems, policies, and laws that are impacting our patients. To achieve health equity, we have to attend to health inequities within the criminal justice system. My name is Emily Wong, and I'm a primary care physician and researcher. Oftentimes the focus is on the carceral systems themselves and the care that's delivered behind bars, but in fact, in our studies and in others, it's actually the transition home and the post-release time frame that individuals are at the highest risk of dying, of hospitalizations, often from preventable conditions. The barriers to a healthier life are both impeded by health system problems, but also the various policies and structures that impede individuals from meeting their basic needs. Transitions Clinic Network serves as a model to bridge the gap between correctional healthcare systems and the community healthcare systems where there really is no healthcare that bridges those two systems. The community health workers of the Transitions Clinic Network are individuals that have been incarcerated but also have been successful in returning back to their communities and also giving back to their communities and it's through their care we are able to first create trusting relationships between patients and physicians. There's the clinical work, but then there's a large research component where we're really trying to understand why individuals who are released from carceral systems actually have worse health outcomes. So this includes heart disease, cancer, opioid use disorder with overdoses, gun violence. And so our center really drills down into trying to understand what are the root causes of this increased risk, and then especially how do we identify solutions that will bridge those harms. It's the stories that we see in clinic that are driving the research that we do, the education that we do, and the legal interventions that we're designing. And this work wouldn't happen if we were not partnered with people with histories of incarceration, shifting the norms of science and shifting the questions that we ask.